What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, V the Notary. Hope you guys are having a great, what is today? Wednesday. Great Wednesday. Hope you guys had a beautiful Thanksgiving holiday. Really quickly, let me just say this. It is freezing on the East Coast. I don't know where you guys live, but it is so cold. So hopefully you guys are staying warm, um, making sure you have your gloves, your hats, your beanies on, all of that. It, it is cold outside, okay? Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something new. Um, you guys know that here at V, the notary, um, we are advocates. I'm advocate of making money, expanding on your notary business. You know, we talk a lot about loan signing because that is kind of primarily what I do in my notary business, probably yours as well. But I am always looking for ways to expand on my portfolio of the services that I provide. And I'm excited because I just kind of started a new service that I provided. I've only done this once. So I'm just going to say this is the disclaimer. But, and you know, as I kind of go along and learn and, you know, incorporate this more into my business, I'm going to, you know, go back, come back and do a video, maybe in three to six months on just how it's going. But I just provided, started providing this service. I had one project so far and it is a permit runner. Okay. I don't know how many of you guys um, already do permit running or a permit expediter, you know, they're kind of used interchangeably. Um, or if you guys are aware of what it is or thought about adding it to your portfolio, but, um, I, you know, I did some, some research kind of, you know, really familiarized myself with the process. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to add this to the services that I provide. I did. And within two weeks, I got a call to actually take on a project. Okay. So let's talk about what is a permit runner or a permit expediter, all right? So just, you know, giving you the, you know, overview of what it is. As developers, you know, people that are in construction that are working on new projects, as they are working on those projects, right? Whether they're building, you know, commercial businesses, whether they're building, you know, regular homes, single family homes, you know, apartment buildings, etc. Throughout that process, you have to get permits from the city, right? Um, and that those permits are just for the city's way of saying or verifying, okay, the way that you're building this, whether it's the bathroom, you know, internally in the house, the external parts of the house, you know, whether it's a commercial project, their, their permits are certifying that you are in line with, you know, the regulations for whatever type of you know, uh, development that you're working on. So you have to get different permits throughout the process until the final finalizing of whatever it is that you're working on. So you have to get permits, they're building permits, right? So with that being said, those ha you have to submit applications, you have to go through a process for whatever city that you're in. And a lot of times you guys, these construction, these developers that are doing construction, they don't have time to do this. They don't have time. They're busy. You know, they need stuff turned around really, really quickly. And a lot of times, some of the documents that are involved in the application process of being approved have to also be notarized. So that in itself makes it a great fit for a notary to do this. All right. So. That's where the permit runners and permit expediters come into play because these developers are so busy. You know, sometimes it's hard to get away. They can't do it. You know, um, they're not as familiar with the process and that makes it a great fit for a notary. So a lot of times these permit expediters and permit runners, however you want to call it, we'll just call it, you know, a permit runner. Um, they are the individuals that kind of take care of that process from beginning to end and assist those developers in getting the permits that they need to continue on with their project and to complete the project, okay? So, this particular project that I was contacted for through my Google business page, y'all, that's why it's great for you to make sure that you have, you know, your Google business page and everything all set up. Um, you know, I um, advertise that I provide that service I was contacted, which I was very, very surprised. Um, and I, you know, kind of nervous and exciting, you know, as a notary, whenever you're doing something new that you're kind of, you want to get your feet wet and you want to, you know, do well, it's always normal kind of just to be nervous about it. So, but for this particular, um, uh, there were three permits that I had to submit for this particular project. 
And, you know, they were really cool. They, you know, I told them how long I've been a notary, you know, um, and I was honest and transparent with them that, you know, I was, I didn't say this was my first time doing it, but that I was kind of, you know, newer, but I kind of have the gift of gab and, you know, just made rest assured, you know, this, this particular project will be done thoroughly. You know, I'll make sure I get it done, all of these things, right? So, you know, they were amazing. You know, they kind of needed a quick turnaround. And I, you know, obviously read up on the process. So you want to make sure that you do that. And things went seamless. And I'm excited because they're going to need additional permits. So once they do, they're going to have me do those as well. Um, as you guys are probably all wondering what you can charge, you know, for this. So for this particular job, I actually charged $175. Um, it just took me, you know, a couple of hours to kind of, you know, get, you know, go down and take care of all this stuff. So it does, you know, like regular no notary, general notary work or loan signing work, you're going to have to drive, you know, you can't, I don't, maybe you can do it from your house. I don't know if there's like an online, um, process that's probably going to vary, you know, from state to state. Um, but you know you again wherever you live you're going to make sure that you familiarize yourself with the process in your particular city so that you know that if you do take this job on you know the, what you need to do where you need to go but i'm going to assume you're going to need to run those physical permits down to the city okay um but yes so i charge 175 dollars for this particular project now the research that i've done for permit runners is usually anywhere from 125 to you know, $250, depending on how many documents you're working with. So, um, yeah, it was like a pretty seamless process. You guys, like I said, as I'm, you know, I'm learning and as I do more, I want to kind of circle back with you guys just to tell you how this fits in well with what I'm doing. But we'll look at, you know, what do you know? There's something else that you guys can add to your portfolio. Should you want to do that? Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was great. Like the business, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, the, spe the specific de developer that I'm working with, but, um, they are also, uh, you know, black owned developers. So it, it just, you know, and it's nice to always support, you know, minority owned businesses. I try to definitely do that as well. Um, so it was just nice to kind of make that connection. And I also wanted to let them know, obviously about all my other notary services, they need any loan signing services in the future, you know, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure that they reach out to me. So we, it, we have like a little working relationship and that's also important to connect the docs. It's all about, you know, networking. Um, and those connections are crucial in this business, you guys. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited about this. You know, I'm excited in addition to the postille work, the general notary and to kind of, I'm not really doing field inspections, um, as much. Um, I did, I, I didn't do any field, field inspections this month. I did like maybe one or two in October, you know, so I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm phasing the field inspections out. Um, because you know, I'm still depending on the situation i still want to take field inspection as assignments but um yeah primarily primarily for me it's loan signings you know i have been doing um some apostille work um i did more last month i think um i think i had one or two assignments this month how many apostilles did i do i don't know this thanksgiving vacation you guys is kind of throwing me off because i was really 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 busy and then last week not as much um towards the end of the week but yeah you know i've been working your girl's been working still doing loan signings and so again i'm just really excited about this you know permitting expediting um uh section that i'm going to add to my you know the work that i do and as always i'm going to circle back with y'all like i said and let you guys know how it goes so you know like i said this is early in the process of me getting more experience with this but i wanted to talk to you guys about this because you know as you know loan signing is tough you know things are picking up i kind of feel like a little bit with loan signing but still with interest rates so high we just don't know you know we just don't know where that's going to fall so really look into permitting um being a permitting um expediter now also i don't think that there's any type of um specified training that you need to do for your you know for any states but double check because 
Again, where I live, there is not, you know, there's no type of test or training that you have to do with the state to become a permit expediter. But that doesn't mean that that's not required for your state. I had, I do not, I'm not familiar with all the rules and regulations for every, all the 50 states. So just again, check with your state to see if there's anything that you are required to do. But you know, this just fits in perfectly with uh, being a notary, which is nice. So you guys, if you guys are permit expediters or permit runners, let me know, you know, give me any type of advice that I, you know, again, I'm new to this. So if you have any good, you know, advice, any best practices for me or any of the my other followers on this channel, please, 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 you know, um, give us some of that information so that we can, you know, use it in our businesses, you guys. But yeah, I'm excited about this. So I will, you know, keep you guys up to date as I move along with this part of my portfolio, okay? So hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Again, V the Notary, as always, please like, subscribe, share. Please share my videos, y'all. Like share, share, share them with anybody who, you know, is remotely interested in becoming a notary, someone that is a notary, you know, um, you guys, we can all work together to learn more and get better at what we do, all right? So again, like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.